Hey everybody, it's me again from my home office. I hope you've had some time to explore the Rhythm Maker on Chrome Music Lab. Today we're going to be looking at Melody Maker. So we're not going to be working with rhythms, we're working with a simple melody that you can use. Let's go right to it. To find Chrome Music Labs, of course, you can just search for Chrome Music Lab in any web browser. It doesn't have to be Google Chrome. And that'll be your first hit when you come back up. Here we're looking at the list of the tools and today we're going to be looking at Melody Maker. Let's get right to it. Melody Maker is is a blank canvas of grid squares or grid rectangles. Uh, here's what it says. Uh, grids like this one are a common interface for creating melodies. Time moves from left to right and pitch goes up to down. Tap to add the notes into the uh, rectangles, then use the buttons in the bottom to play and change your melody. So let's take a look at the buttons and controls that we have. This, of course, is your play button. Right now it's trying to play something. The time is moving from left to right and it's repeating or looping. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anything to play yet because we don't have any tiles selected or highlighted. This is a shift tool that we'll look at once we have some notes. It takes your notes and makes an echo of them to counts later, two grid spaces later. So we'll take a look at that. And then this is your speed. Uh, you can move the slider here to increase your speed. This is in beats per minute. Right now it's 184 beats per minute. That's pretty fast. Um, towards the running person is faster and then towards the walking person is slower. We're going to make it 72 so we can actually change it right there. 72 beats per minute. So you can actually watch our time is moving much more slowly across. The tiles here correspond to notes of a major scale. These are notes of a major scale. So the red is the fundamental of the major scale. So if this is in C, that would be your C. D, E, F, G, A, B, and another C. And it has almost two octaves, so almost two complete sets. So here's a C, it's an octave to the other C. D, E, F, G, A, B and we don't quite have that third C. So we have two uh, complete octaves almost going up to start the next octave of C. So when you click on the tiles, you can see that they're highlighted and each color corresponds to a degree of the scale. So red is always gonna be your fundamental or your C. Uh, the orange is gonna be your second or your D. E, F, G, and it goes on up from there. So when you push play, it will play the melody that you have highlighted. Let's take a listen. So that sounds like a major scale to me. Let's click some notes kind of randomly on and listen to the uh, kind of ethereal or mysterious melody that you can create uh, when you do a, kind of a random sequence like this. So right now our notes are just kind of clicked wherever. Let's take a listen and see what we've got. Always thought that when you have random sequences like that, you can make some kind of eerie or spooky or science fiction like creations. It's very neat. Uh, the shift tool is the last one I want to really show you here, and that just takes your notes and it shifts every note over to the right by two squares and it makes kind of an echo of itself. So you can see the gray tiles are going to play that note again. So this is a way you can get around not having your notes uh, being able to stack. So we can actually see our notes play. So there it actually does play two pitches or two notes at the same time. Now you have to be careful not to create some of the uh, dissonant harmonies right here. Like this one is kind of a, doesn't sound very nice, but we call it dissonant in music. Uh, there are some really nice consonant harmonies in thirds that we can see here. Thirds and fourths sound pretty nice. Let's listen to that one again. So using this tool, you can create all kinds of different melodies. And when you want to clear your space out, you can just click on your notes again, and you can just get rid of those colored notes and their echoes. And the challenge here is to experiment until you find something that really looks neat. One more thing that we can try to do here is we can try to recreate a melody that a lot of you might already know. Let's take a listen. Let's see what happens when I play this. And if I had a few more grid spaces, as we'll learn when we use Song Maker, I could finish that melody out and play something that you would find probably a lot more familiar. Well, that's it for looking at this tool. I hope that you're able to create something really fun. If you want to take a video or a picture of what you create and send it over to me, I would love to see it. I hope you're having a fun and safe break away from school.